everyone, and thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Dave Childers, and I'm an instructor with the River House Outdoor Community Center. In this video, we're going to discuss spray skirts and the most important technique you'll ever learn in your kayak journey, the wet exit. Wet exits are best by doing. So the purpose of this episode is to set the stage for when you show up to your first kayak or roll class, you'll have some idea of what to expect. This video will also increase your understanding of terms that you may be foreign to you, and offer some techniques to help you be more comfortable in your kayak, and more importantly, underwater. The skirt is an essential piece of kayaking gear when kayaking in anything other than completely flat conditions. The purpose of the skirt is to keep water out, which makes it one of the main reasons a kayak is the most seaworthy craft on the planet. By fixing the skirt to your kayak and properly fitting it to your body, the boat will remain mostly dry. The skirt consists of four main parts, the grab loop, the ram, the deck, and the tunnel. The skirt consists of four main parts, the grab loop, the ram, the deck, and the tunnel. The grab loop is the most important part of your skirt because it allows you to take the skirt off when you need to do a wet exit. to the ram, which goes around the outside of your cockpit that keeps the water from coming in. This can be made of both rubber or bungee. The deck of your skirt is what covers the hole that doesn't allow water to splash in. This can be made of both nylon or neoprene. The tunnel is what goes around your torso that doesn't allow water to go in. This as well can be made of both nylon and neoprene. As mentioned earlier, skirts can have different features and be made of different materials. This skirt is made entirely of neoprene and has a rubber rand. This one is designed for kayaks that are mostly used in whitewater environments. This skirt, however, has a bungee rand, has a neoprene deck, and also has a nylon tunnel. It also has an adjustable tunnel to suit people of different sizes, as well as suspenders. This skirt is mostly used for kayaks that are in touring environments. Now it's time to put the skirt on. The grab loop is always the front of your skirt. To get the skirt on, I'm going to step through the skirt with both my feet and then pull it all the way up until the seam that connects the tunnel and the deck is right about my hip level. And then if your skirt has it, you're gonna tighten down the sides of your skirt to make it nice and snug. So now that we have our skirt on, we can get into our kayak and tighten the backrest to as tight as you'd like it. The next thing you wanna do is take the back of the skirt, lean back a little bit, and hook it onto the back of your cockpit or the cockpit combing. And slowly work it up until it's hooked around to about your hips. From there, I'm gonna grab the front of my skirt, flip the grab loop over onto the top of my skirt, still leaning back, straighten my arms, I'm gonna crunch my abs and stretch it all the way over to the front of my cockpit combing. From here, I'm going to make sure my sides are completely on, just like that. Sometimes your skirt will pop up during this process and you have to start all the way over. If you keep having this problem, sometimes wetting your skirt will help make it a little more stretchy to make it easier to put on.
having trouble getting your skirt on, it is totally okay to ask somebody for help. And we'll start the process the same way. Hook it on the back, get it to your hips, have your friend hold the skirt, stretch it forward, clip it over the front, make sure both sides are all the way down, just like that. Now that the skirt is on, we need to make sure that we are comfortable getting the skirt off. And it's as simple as grabbing the grab loop and giving it a pull. Make sure you practice this as many times as you want to make sure that you are comfortable. Sometimes accidents happen and the grab loop will be stuck inside and so we need an alternative method to get the skirt off. We call this the seal fat method. I'm going to take my hands to one side, grab a big flab of skin off my skirt and give that a pull to one side to take the skirt off. Now that you know how to put your skirt on and take it off, it's time to learn the wet exit. The wet exit is a little like learning to walk before you can run. It is a critical key that kayakers know how to get out of their kayak in any situation. So when practicing the wet exit, it is critical that you are 100% comfortable doing the wet exit in a pool before you learn any other skills. Being upside down in a kayak can be a disorienting position at first. The Riverhouse Kayak Roll Class Preparation Tutorial video presents several ideas, practices, and techniques that can help you become more comfortable while underwater in a kayak. So please check that out before coming to any kayak class. Here is a view of a wet exit underwater. Notice how calm and composed Dave is as he gently moves through the process of exiting the boat to come to the surface. So now let's talk about the four steps of the wet exit. The tuck, the pull, the slide, and the push. The tuck, you're gonna take your body and tuck it all the way forward as far as you can. This is gonna help protect yourself from shallow rocks or debris. It is also important to note that the whole process of the wet exit, I'm going to try and stay tucked the entire time. The next step is the pull. You're going to grab Mr. Pulley, give it a good pull to where it pops off. The third step, the slide, you're going to take your hands, fingers on the outside of your cockpit, thumbs in the inside, and slide my hands all the way back to my hips. This sets me up for the final step, which is the push. I'm going to push my butt up and out of the kayak. It's also important to note in this step that I'm pushing myself out to where my legs come straight. I'm not trying to take my feet out of the kayak. Now that we're out of our kayak, you also want to keep in mind trying to hold on to your kayak and your paddle, which will help out your other people from getting your gear all collected. But that's a video for another time. Notice here in the slow motion outtake, when Dave flips over, he tucks forward. This protects his head and his back from any shallow obstacles. It also puts the grab loop right in front of his face. He then reaches forward, grabs the loop, pulls, removing the skirt, then slides his hands to his hips and pushes the boat out and away from him. Notice that he is completely clear of the boat before trying to surface. This avoids getting your foot caught or stuck inside the boat. Here is a slow motion above angle of the wet exit. Notice how high Dave's hands are out of the water. This demonstrates that he's tucked forward. Then also notice how calm and slow he moves through the process to exit the boat. There's no panic, no rush, and he does this smoothly, protecting his body through the whole process. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope you feel much more prepared and understanding what to expect when learning to kayak. 
As mentioned above, it is worth viewing the Riverhouse Kayak Roll Class Preparation Tutorial video, even if you're not interested in learning to roll, because it covers several factors like flexibility, boat fit, and activities to help you get more comfortable underwater. We look forward to working with you in the future kayak or roll class.